In October 2023, Intel launched its newest lineup of processors, known as the 14th Gen Desktop Core Processors. Reviews and memes have flooded in since the release. The preceding CPU series, the 13th Gen, is codenamed Raptor Lake, while the latest 14th Gen goes by the name Raptor Lake Refresh, denoting it as a mere refresh. Intel asserts that the 14th generation brings improvements over its predecessor, but the question remains, is Intel's claim accurate? Let's find out. On a spec sheet, the Core i9 and Core i5 of the 14th generation appear identical, except for slightly higher clock speeds. In contrast, the Core i7 14700K stands out with two extra e-cores, making it the only physically distinct CPU in the 14th gen compared to its predecessor. Now, the question arises, is upgrading to the 14th generation worthwhile for those currently using a 13th gen CPU? And for those with even older CPUs, does the 14th gen offer enough benefits to justify the upgrade? Let's delve into these questions. The Core i9 14900K and 13900K share remarkable similarities in most aspects. After reviewing multiple sources, it's apparent that the 14th gen line brings little innovation, leading us to believe that Intel could have easily labeled it as an S version or i9-13950. The CPUs share the same die, architecture, and physical build, the only contrast lies in their clock speeds. The Core i9-14900K boasts a maximum speed of 6.0 GHz with thermal velocity boost, but this doesn't apply uniformly across all cores, with some running at only 5.7 GHz. On the other hand, the Core i9-13900K has a thermal velocity boost rating of 5.8 GHz. Both CPUs share identical base and maximum power requirements, ranging from 125 to 253 Watt. In terms of performance, the Core i9-14900K offers a marginal improvement of approximately 1% to 5%, depending on the application. Gaming performance sees a nominal difference, averaging around 2%-3% in favor of the 14900K at 1080 pages in essence, the disparity is so slight that it is virtually imperceptible. While Intel claims tweaks and improvements in certain aspects, such as CPU behavior and power consumption, reviews suggest that these enhancements are generally minimal and go unnoticed in practical use. Notably, Intel made an interesting move by introducing two more e-cores to the Core i7-13700K and rebranded it as the Core i7-14700K, Within the 14th generation CPU lineup, the i7-14700K stands out as the only one offering something novel. Apart from the inclusion of four extra e-cores, there's a slight increase in clock speeds as well. A 200 mhz boost for the p-cores and a 100 mhz bump for the e-cores. In terms of performance, the Core i7-14700K demonstrates a slight improvement in multi-threaded workloads, thanks to the additional e-cores, hovering around 10% or so depending on the application. However, in gaming, the i7-14700K only shows a modest 2%-3% enhancement compared to the i7-13700K. The Core i9-13900K maintains its lead over the 14700K in both productivity and gaming, lacking any significant generational leap. Regrettably, the power consumption of the 14700K is slightly higher than that of the 13700K due to the addition of two e-cores. Nevertheless, this increase is not substantial, considering that both the 14900K and the 13900K still draw more power than the i7 series. Ultimately, the Core i5-14600K shows the least improvement, if any, 
when compared to the i7 and i9 counterparts. The 14600K exhibits a mere 1% 2% increase in speed compared to its predecessor. It appears that both CPUs are essentially identical, with the newer version receiving some tweaks that don't contribute significantly to performance improvement. So, should you buy a 14th general CPU? Is it worth it? If you're currently using a 13th gen CPU, it's probably not advisable to upgrade to the 14th general. The 14th gen CPUs were launched at the same retail price as their 13th gen counterparts, making the latter more budget-friendly. Unless having the absolute latest or the highest number in your system is crucial, sticking with the 13th gen CPUs makes more sense. On the other hand, if you're upgrading from an even older generation, like the 12th or older, the 14th gen might be worth considering. However, when choosing between the Core i9 14900K and the 13900K, opt for the latter if it comes with a significantly lower price, as it would provide better value for money. The decision might not be as straightforward for the Core i7 CPUs. If you're choosing between the Core i7 14700K and the 13700K, the 14700K is a more favorable choice due to its two additional e-cores, which can be beneficial in specific scenarios. Nonetheless, if the 13700K is substantially cheaper or has a more attractive price, it's still a viable option.